Okay, you guys, so I'm about to go in for my first ever Brazilian wax and I'm freaking out, like 100% freaking. I have been wanting to do this for a long time, but we are going on vacation slash business trip on Monday, today's Thursday. Just like, ugh. Like I've been putting it off and I was like, I'm gonna give it a trial run before we go. Absolutely not, chicken out. I'm gonna be in a bikini and I do not like to shave <laughs> on vacation, just like, toting all of the extra stuff and like putting the extra time aside to actually get that done. I'm giving it a shot. I've watched a million YouTube videos. I've watched a million reviews. Ask everybody that I know if they've ever had one, like what their experience was. So here I go. I'm terrified. I'm very dramatic, but also my stomach's hurting right now. I'm freaking out. Like I feel like I'm gonna die. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through this. If I do, I will update you guys with a final review on how it went. Was it really that bad? Was it awkward? All the things. Wish me luck. Here we go. Okay. I'm alive. I made it. Out of the out of the spa, okay. I'm speechless right now, honestly. One second. Okay, so here's my update. I'm still slightly out of breath, okay? Honestly, that was it took about about 40 minutes for my first ones. She said when you repeat it, it goes faster, but it was it was a living hell. Like I'm, I'm not even gonna like kind of try to sugarcoat this. It was really, really painful. Like literally, let's let's just get down and dirty. I'm gonna give you guys the deets on how it all went down. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys the step-by-step -step what to freaking expect when you go get your first Brazilian, okay? So I walked in, you walk into the room, and the lady tells you to take your pants off, okay? So just like you're at the OBGYN when the nurse is like, okay, honey, take your pants off, and she'll be right in. So you take off your pants. A good tip that I used was wear a dress because a dress at least kind of like shields you so you feel like you're not fully exposed. So you, I walked in, I'm wearing just a cute little dress, and I pulled it up, took my underwear off, whatever got on the table. You're gonna have to spread eagle, okay? Like straight up, put your feet together, a butterfly stretch, heels together, legs apart. Sort of awkward, but honestly, this isn't really that awkward yet. And so um, she will clean the area and then she will go to town with some wax, okay? At least in my experience, the girl had, um, she did like the sides first and then did the top. And you guys, I'ma just be real. She said the middle of the top was gonna be worse, but that was, that was not the worst y'all the worst was the sides that was freaking hell oh my god that hurt like a bee okay exactly what you think it's gonna feel like is exactly what it does feel like i feel like getting your lip wax is kind of bad like i feel like that hurt like hell but getting the downstairs wax is worse than the lip so a hundred percent did the sides did the top and then she does like your bikini line and things like that the bikini line doesn't hurt like the top hurts but like not that bad it felt exactly kind of like the lip for me but just intensified by like one or two points and then the sides whoo good lord i thought i was sweating like i thought i was gonna die right and all in all that probably that part like was about probably like 20 minutes and then you guys this is the worst i mean this is the worst okay so then, after everything is done, said and done, like she waxed her bikini line, the sides, the inside, the middles, all the all the spots on the on the front. You lift your legs up, and she goes to the back. Imagine like when we're changing babies' diapers, you pick their legs up. That's exactly what happens. Okay, do a strip on your butt, and I'm gonna just tell y'all right now, so nobody's blindsided by this. They do your butt just like you were to change a baby's diaper. That was probably the most awkward part. Like honestly, out of this whole thing, it wasn't as awkward as I thought it was gonna be. Like I was honestly intimidated, thinking like this chick's gonna be all in the crotch area, like freaking out. Like I was like, I don't know. It's worse than the OBGYN. Like they're definitely in there, and there they're making sure there's no hair left. The behind part very awkward very weird that honestly didn't even hurt like to be completely real like that part did not hurt at all it's all up in the crotch part and i'm sorry if this is too tmi i'll put a warning in the bio thing but literally was hot mess express it freaking hurt like hell i wanted to die a little bit because oh my god like and it i just felt like it kept it just kept going like there's so many strips and i was just like holy holy sh I did it though. I'm definitely going to do, I'm going to do it again. A hundred percent. You do it every, um, every four weeks, four to five weeks. Like the hair doesn't grow back instead of like that hair. It comes more like your arm hair. And so it's like a lot less thick, a lot less will grow back. So you'll actually get the full experience. Like as you keep going, it ends up turning out. She said by wax three and four, you'll feel a lot better. It won't hurt as bad. And it's a lot quicker. She said, usually like a regular client takes about 10 minutes. So 10 
to 15 minutes. I can do that. I'm totally gonna do it again. I will let you guys know what I think on time number two. It was like an eight out of 10, like 100%. Like if I had to give it a pain scale rating, I had two babies and that was a 10. So if childbirth is a 10, this is an eight, but it doesn't last long like childbirth. Like when she rips it off, she puts pressure on it, the stain kind of goes away, but it does burn a little afterward. And they do put like soothing balm and oil on it afterwards just to make sure like it does, like it will calm down. The inflammation will kind of go down. I will totally update you guys in a few hours on how it's feeling kind of post done. This is immediately after we're done. The place is 15 minutes from my house. I just got home. I wanted to tell you guys while it's fresh on my mind and I will update you guys tonight and let you guys know if it's still burning, if I'm dying, what's happening. So it's been about three hours now. I am at Cammy's cheer practice waiting, just sitting in the car, and I'm not gonna lie, it's burning. It feels like, like you know when you shave and it's like maybe like the day after kind of a burn, like that's what I feel right now, sucks. So I'm about eight hours post wax and I feel really good actually, the burn is gone. The only time that I feel it is if I accidentally bump into something and it hits it, but other than that, totally good. I'm 100% doing it again, 10 out of 10, recommend, even though it hurts like hell. It looks good, you will be fresh in a bathing suit, and I am freaking stoked to go on my vacay. So I hope this helps anybody who has been considering it, or if you're a chicken like me, just go do it at least one time. Just make sure the person you go to is awesome, you're comfortable with them, and they know what they're doing.